Hello everyone, welcome to Study Dogma. In this video, we will discuss about full month compilation of May 2020 current affairs MCQs. Before starting, I will request if you have not yet subscribed the channel, then please, please, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for future notifications and please share the video with your friends and other groups of telegram whatsapp facebook wherever you can so that maximum aspirants can be helped in their preparations we'll be launching last six months 1000 plus general awareness mcqs very soon for your upcoming rbi assistant and sbi clerk 2020 exam so let's start the session who has been appointed Secretary to the Ministry of MSME. Right answer is Arvind Kumar Sharma. Now, Giridhar Aramane has taken over the charge as Secretary to the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. And remember, present MSME and Road Transport and Highways Minister is Nitin Gadkari and his constituency is Nagpur, Maharashtra. And Sanjay Kotari has been appointed as Central Vigilance Commissioner. Now, recently, Rajiv Gauba was appointed as Cabinet Secretary for a period of two years, whereas Bimal Julka is a Chief Information Commissioner of India. Which research and development organization has developed Kisan Sabha app? Right answer is CSIR CRRI and CSIR CRRI stands for Council of Scientific and Industrial Research Central Road Research Institute. Now the primary objective of Kisan Sabha app is to provide the most economical as well as timely logistics help to the farmers. It will help Farmers by timely delivery of their produce at best possible prices. Name the South African veteran anti apartheid activist who recently passed away. Right answer is Dennis Goldberg. Now, Robert Mugabe was the former Prime Minister of Zimbabwe, and Ken Shimura was a famous Japanese comedian who passed away recently. Which day has been observed as World Tuna Day? Right answer is 2nd May. According to a report titled The Global Report on Internal Displacement that is GRID 2020 from IDMC, 5 million people in India were displaced in 2019 due to natural disasters. Now question is where is the headquarter of IDMC? Right answer is Geneva, Switzerland. Which country's oil price has recently recorded below zero dollars for the first time? Right answer is United States. Which institute has developed microwave sterilizer named as Atulya? Right answer is Defense Institute of Advanced Technology. Now it will disintegrate the COVID-19 virus with the help of differential heating in the range of 56 to 60 degree Celsius. And recently the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research that is CSIR's Scientific Instruments Organization Chandigarh has developed an electrostatic disinfection machine. Now, this machine is very much effective in the disinfection and sanitization in order to fight with COVID-19 pandemic. Who has been appointed as advisor of Google Pay India? Right answer is Shikha Sharma. Now, Julie Sweet is the CEO of Accenture. Sanjeev Chatta has been appointed as Managing Director and CEO of Bank of Baroda. Recently, Vinay Dubey has been appointed as CEO of Goair, whereas Karan Bajwa 
has been appointed as the head of Google Cloud in India. Which bank has launched Vikas Abhaya loan scheme to provide relief to MSME borrowers? Right answer is Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank. Now this loan will be for the existing MSME customers and under this scheme a maximum loan of up to rupees 1 lakh will be provided and no collateral security is emphasized and is repayable within 36 months. And recently Karur Vyasa Bank launched India's first prepaid card Enkasu. Now the customers buying this card can make tap and go payments and these cards can be accepted online as well as offline. And recently Indusind Bank topped the list of highest increase in brand value. Who represented India in the G20 Digital Economy Minister's virtual summit held under the presidency of Saudi Arabia? Right answer is Ravi Shankar Prasad. And he is the Union Law and Justice Minister and his constituency is Patna Sahib, Bihar. Name the former Indian football captain who passed away recently. Right answer is Chuni Goswami. Now he was the captain of Indian football team that won the 1962 Asian Games gold medal. Which country's scientists have discovered a carnivorous swimming dinosaur named Spinosaurus aegyptiacus at the Kem Kem region of the Moroccan Sahara in North Africa? Right answer is United States. Who has won the 2020 UNESCO Guillermo Keno World Press Freedom Prize? Right answer is Jeanette Pedoa. Lima and she is a Colombian investigative journalist. Now comment in the comment box about other four options whom are recently awarded for what? Former world snooker champion Peter Edburn announced retirement from professional snooker. He belongs to which country? Right answer is United Kingdom. Which country will launch its first Arctica M satellite for monitoring the Arctic climate and environment this year. Right answer is Russia. Which city has been declared as the new headquarter for the IFSC authority? Right answer is Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Name the national e-commerce marketplace recently launched by Confederation of All India Traders that is CAIT. Right answer is Bharat Market. Now this marketplace will be for all retail traders nationwide and aims to integrate 95% of retail traders on board the retail platform. And recently Flipkart launched Samarth campaign to empower Indian artisans, weavers and craftsmen. And TikTok has launched Matkar forward campaign to raise awareness among the digital community around creation and sharing of misinformation. Now Facebook has launched a new consumer marketing campaign called More Together to showcase how people across the country can do more together by harnessing the power of their connections on the platform. And Facebook also partners with Bollywood for I for India fundraiser concert. Which 105 year old Mumbai based cooperative bank's license has been cancelled by Reserve Bank of India? Right answer is the CKP Cooperative Bank Limited. Now, the license of the CKP Cooperative Bank Limited to carry on banking business has been cancelled by the Reserve Bank of India due to the unstable financial position of the bank and recently RBI has also cancelled the license of Mapusa Cooperative Bank based in Goa. Which day has been observed as World Asthma Day with the theme 
enough asthma deaths right answer is 5th may the day spread awareness about asthma disease and care around the world it is annually organized by the global initiative for asthma that is gina now world health organization has marked 5th may as world hand hygiene day the theme of the campaign is save lives clean your hands and the goal of the campaign is to recognize the hand washing is one of the most effective actions you can take to reduce the spread of pathogens and prevent infections including the covid-19 virus and besides 5th may has also been observed as international day of the midwife and 2020 theme is celebrate demonstrate mobilize unite our time is now now the world health organization has dedicated the year 2020 as year of nurse and midwife to commemorate the 200th birth anniversary of nursing pioneer florence nightingale and the headquarter of world health organization is in geneva switzerland and the president is tedros adhanom Federation International de Natation that is FINA has postponed 2021 World Aquatics Championships to May 2022 now where it is scheduled to be held right answer is Fukuoka Japan now FINA is the swimming world governing body and Doha will host the event in 2023 and the 2019 World Aquatics Championships was hosted by Guangzhou and Budapest jointly. Name the Indian journalist who won the Pulitzer Prize 2020 in the field of feature photography. Right answer is option number A, B, and C. That is Dar Yashin, Mukhtar Khan, and Channi Anand. Now, recently, Ravish Kumar. on the ramon maxese award 2019 for harnessing journalism to give voice to voiceless he was also awarded with gauri lankesh award for journalism which state government has launched covid pharma mobile app to trace people buying medicines for fever and cold right answer is andhra pradesh Name the Indian cricketer who has been banned by ICC from all forms of cricket for a period of 2 years for breaching ICC anti corruption code charges. Right answer is Deepak Agarwal. Now recently Shakib Al Hasan from Bangladesh and Umar Akmal from Pakistan both banned for corruption charges. And recently Indian sprinter Nirmala Sharon and weightlifter Seema has been banned for 4 years by NADA for doping charges. Who has been appointed as new chief of public enterprise selection board that is PSEB for a period of 3 years? Right answer is Mr Rajiv Kumar. Now Krishna Mohan Prasad has been appointed as principal chief commissioner of income tax whereas suresh chandra sharma has been appointed as chairman of national medical commission what is the amount did asian development bank approve to support maharashtra for power sector right answer is 346 million dollar now 250 million dollar has been approved by adb to india for energy efficiency services adb has approved 190 million dollar to rajasthan for road project adb has approved 750 million dollar to india for railway electrification and 926 million dollar has been approved by adb for mumbai metro according to rating agency crisil 
what will be india's gdp growth rate for financial year 21 compared to previous predictions at 3.5% right answer is 1.8% National Award winner Rishi Kapoor passed away. He was a renowned what? So he was a renowned actor. Name the former cricketer who has been appointed as head coach of USA national cricket team. Right answer is J Arun Kumar. Now Robin Singh appointed as director of cricket of UAE. Sunil Joshi is chairman of selection committee of BCCI and recently Kumar Sangakkara becomes first non british president of Melbourne Cricket Club whereas GS Lakshmi became the first female to be appointed to ICC international panel of match referee who has been selected for the Nikkei Asia Prize 2020 Right answer is Thalappil Pradeep. Now, IIT Madras professor Mr. Thalappil Pradeep has been selected for the Nikkei Asia Prize 2020 in the field of science and technology. He will be awarded for his pioneering work in nanotechnology-based water purification. Now, the Nikkei Asia Prize recognizes. those individuals who have contributed to the region's sustainable development and to the creation of a better future of asia the prize is conferred in science and technology culture and community and economic and business innovation now ram prasad kadel from nepal has been awarded in culture and community field whereas antony tan and Dan Hui Ling has been awarded in economic and business innovation field and both belongs to Malaysia. FIFA has launched hashtag we will win campaign to pay tribute to health workers who ensure the society continues to function among covid-19. Now question is who is the president of FIFA? Right answer is Gianni Infantino Now FIFA has launched a campaign called hashtag we will win and tribute a special video to health workers and other professionals who ensure the society continues to function and remember FIFA's headquarter is in Zurich Switzerland Now Thomas Bach he is the president of international olympic committee headquartered in lusane switzerland and vladimir lisin is the president of international shooting sport federation which is headquartered in munich germany now thomas wickert is the president of international table tennis federation which is headquartered at lusane switzerland Whereas Sashank Manohar is the president of ICC, which is headquartered in Dubai, UAE. Which state government has given maximum jobs under Manrega amid nationwide lockdown? Right answer is Chhattisgarh. Now Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, which is a social security scheme. that attempts to provide employment and livelihood to rural laborers in the country now madhya pradesh recently launched jeevan amrit yojana to boost immune system of people to fight corona virus who has been conferred order of rising sun award by japan right answer is dr thangjam dhabali singh and he is from manipur now dr thangjam dhabali singh was awarded for promoting a better understand of japan in india and deepening ties between the two countries now this award is conferred on persons with achievements 
in international relations promotion of japanese culture environmental preservation welfare or achievements in their fields and recently drdo chairman g satish reddy was awarded honorary fellowship by uk's royal aeronautical society now ravish kumar a senior journalist won the raman magsese award 2019 for harnessing journalism to give voice to voiceless he is also awarded with gauri lankesh award for journalism and recently jadav paing who is also known as forest man of india has been awarded with swami vivekanand karma yogi award he was also honored with 128 commonwealth points of lights award whereas chandi prasad bhat was awarded the indira gandhi award for national integration for his work on environment freedom fighter and padma shri awardee hema varali passed away at the age of 101 she belongs to which state right answer is assam who has launched a multimedia guide on covid-19 disease named covid katha right answer is dr harsh vardhan and he is the union health minister of india and this guide provides consolidated and authentic information on the global crisis to the masses in an interesting and interactive mode now ramesh pokhrial nishank recently launched a web portal yukti which stands for young india combating covid-19 with knowledge technology and innovation to monitor and records the efforts and initiatives of students and teachers and recently union finance minister nirmala sitaraman participated in the second extraordinary g20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting under saudi arabian presidency to discuss the impact of covid-19 on the global economy and coordinate efforts in response to the global challenge name the customer engagement technology provider which has launched video kyc engagement platform for banking and finance sector right answer is mao though the platform will eliminate the business requirement of physical kyc prime minister narendra modi participated in the virtual nam that is non alignment prime minister narendra modi participated in the virtual nam summit that is non aligned movement summit whose theme is united against covid 19 now the question is which country hosted nam summit right answer is azerbaijan and the chairman is azerbaijan president ilham aliyev now spain hosted the 2019 cop 25 climate summit Russia will host 2020 BRICS summit and recently Bangladesh hosted the first phase of Vishwa Ijtema the second largest congregation of the muslim community and Sri Lanka hosted 2019 biennial commonwealth law ministers conference Indian discus thrower Sandeep Kumari has been banned by World Anti Doping Agency that is WADA for a period of 4 years now where is the headquarters of WADA right answer is Montreal and recently WADA also banned Russia from 2021 Olympics and all international sports for 4 years who has launched the saras collection on the government e marketplace portal right answer is narendra singh tomar it has been launched to provide the self help groups in rural areas with market access to central as well as state government buyers 
नेम द इजिप्शियन टेनिस प्लेयर हु हैज बीन बैंड फॉर लाइफ टाइम बाय द टेनिस इंटीग्रिटी यूनिट दैट इज टी आई यू फ्रॉम प्रोफेशनल टेनिस फॉर मैच फिक्सिंग एंड करप्शन चार्जेस राइट आंसर इज यूसेफ होसम नाउ रिसेंटली फॉर्मर पेरू फुटबॉल फेडरेशन मैनुअल बुर्गा एंड अर्जेंटीना ऑफिशियल्स एडवर्डो डेलुका एंड जोस लुइस मेजनर हैव बीन बैंड बाय फीफा एंड पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट बोर्ड रिसेंटली बैंड उमर अकमल फॉर करप्शन चार्जेस व्हिच इंडियन कंपनी हैज साइंड एन एग्रीमेंट विद ट्रफिगुरा लिमिटेड Singapore to acquire 50% stake in Riker based private limited that is RBPL right answer is Polycap India Limited which indian institute is to collaborate with hong kong based new frontier capital management financial firm to establish a global network for ventures as well as to create a venture ecosystem right answer is iit hyderabad and iit gandhinagar iit kharagpur and national council of science museum that is ncsm have joined hands to develop gandhipedia which operation has been launched by indian navy as a part of the nation's efforts to bring back indian citizens from abroad right answer is samudra setu now Three Indian naval ships sailed to bring back Indian citizens stranded in Maldives and UAE. Now, Arogya Setu app is a COVID-19 tracking mobile application developed by the National Informatics Centre. It is the upgraded version of Corona Kavaj, which helps in identifying COVID-19 suspects and gives. information about covid-19 patients within 6 feet radius the app works on bluetooth technology who has taken over the command of the army training command that is r track right answer is lieutenant general raj shukla now admiral karambir singh is 24th navy chief General Manoj Mukund Narwane is 28th Chief of Army Staff. Air Chief Marshal R K S Badoria is 26th Chief of Air Staff. And General Bipin Rawat has been recently appointed as Chief of Defence Staff. And the age for retirement from C D S fixed to 65 years. who has been awarded young career award in nano science and technology for the year 2020 right answer is saurav lodha now vaniza rupani is an indian origin and she has been honored of naming nasa's first helicopter as ingenuity and recently shobhana narsimhan has been elected as an international honorary member to the american Academy of Arts and Science she has done a remarkable work on the national design of nanomaterials determining the effect of lowering of dimensionality and reduction of size on the properties of material and recently dr niti kumar a senior scientist from division of molecular parasitology and immunology lucknow has received Serb Women Excellence Award National Gallery of Modern Art has presented a virtual program NGMA K Sangra Se to dedicate 159th birth anniversary of Gurudev Ravindranath Thakur Now what is the theme of the program Right answer is artist by artist Now the world wetland day 2020s theme was wetlands and biodiversity i am and i will is the theme of world cancer day 2020 an equal world is an enabled world is the theme of 
International Women's Day 2020 and sustaining all life on earth is the theme of World Wildlife Day 2020 Badminton World Championships 2020 postponed to November 2021 when this championship will take place now this championship will take place at Huelva Spain now Doha will host 2022 FIFA World Cup Tokyo will host 2021 Summer Olympics Hangzhou will host 2022 Asian Games and Paris will host 2024 Summer Olympics Which organization has developed ultraviolet disinfection tower that is UV blaster to achieve a rapid and mechanical free disinfection of high infection prone areas right answer is a drdo which state government has launched a whatsapp number 8794534501 for people to launch complaints about corruption right answer is tripura now manipur has recently set up food bank for covid-19 and mizoram hosted chapchal kut festival recently and assam's chief minister sarvanand sonowal was awarded a dr shyama prasad mukherjee award 2020 for politics which state has launched exit app for people from other states who are stuck in west bengal view lockdown and deserts to return to their native place right answer is west bengal now the exit app can be accessed by the stranded people from the west bengal government's egie bangla website and the chief minister of west bengal is mamta banerji and governor is jagdeep dhankar who has been nominated as us representative to world bank's lending arm iprd right answer is ashok michael now the former chief justice of india ranjan gogoi has recently elected as new rajya sabha member and alok sharma appointed as cop 26 president and india's former solicitor general and senior advocate harish salve has been appointed as queen's counsel for the courts of england and wales and recently anita anand became canada's first hindu cabinet minister who has been appointed as md and ceo of max popa health insurance right answer is Krishnan Ramachandran Which state government police has launched sankalp scheme to provide 24 hour help to the elderly Right answer is Madhya Pradesh What is India's rank in scientific publication according to a survey conducted by National Science and Technology Management Information System that is nst mis right answer is india ranked third now india ranked 51st in the global democracy index which is topped by norway india ranked fifth in the global climate risk index 2020 which is topped by japan india ranked 129th in the human development index 2019 topped by Norway and India ranked 9 in the climate change performance index 2019 which was topped by Sweden who has addressed the bamboo conclave held via video conferencing right answer is Jitendra Singh so here we will end today's session if you like the session then please 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 like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time you can also join the telegram group of study dogma and follow us on instagram pages for regular updates link given in the description column
थैंक यू वेरी मच विच बैंक हैज रिलीज अ सॉन्ग हम हार नहीं मानेंगे कंपोज बाय एयर रहमान टू सपोर्ट नेशनल लॉकडाउन राइट आंसर इज एच डी एफ सी बैंक सो एच डी एफ सी बैंक हैज रिलीज अ सॉन्ग हम हार नहीं मानेंगे टू सपोर्ट द ऑन गोइंग लॉकडाउन एंड कोविड नाइनटीन पैंडेमिक द लिरिक्स ऑफ द सॉन्ग हैज बिन रिटर्न बाय प्रसून जोशी एंड म्यूजिक कंपोज बाय एयर रहमन एच डी एफ सी बैंक विल कंट्रीब्यूट फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज ईच टाइम द सॉन्ग इज शेयर बाया सोशल मीडिया टूवर्ड्स द पी एम केयर्स फंड एंड रिसेंटली वॉलमार्ट इंडिया लॉन्च को ब्रांडेड क्रेडिट कार्ड इन पार्टनरशिप विद एच डी एफ सी बैंक एंड रिमेंबर एच डी एफ सी बैंक हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन मुंबई एंड आदित्यपुरी इज द एम डी सी ओ ऑफ एच डी एफ सी बैंक now icici bank recently launched banking services on whatsapp and voice banking services on amazon alexa and google assistant icici bank also launched fd health scheme who has been honored of naming nasa's first helicopter as ingenuity right answer is vaniza rupani now vaniza rupani is a 17 year old indian origin girl who submitted her essay into nasa's name the robot contest now in march 2020 nasa announced that its next rover to mars would be named as perseverance and sucheta satish an indian origin girl recently won child prodigy award for singing in 120 languages and recently rajesh chaplot honored with the highest civilian award of yoganda for his excellence in the field of business and commerce social service and for fostering better india yoganda ties now recently ayushi dholakia has won the title of miss teen international 2019 and geeta sen an indian feminist scholar won the prestigious tan david prize 2020 for her work in the fields of women rights product reproductive and sexual health and poverty eradication which day is observed as international firefighters day right answer is 4th may now this day is celebrated since 1999 to recognize and honor the sacrifices that firefighters make to ensure that their communities and environment are as safe as possible now 2nd may is observed as world tuna day globally it is established by the united nations to raise awareness about the importance of tuna fish name the judicial member lokpal of india who recently passed away right answer is justice ak tripathi and kannada poet padma shri awardee k s nisar ahmed who was popularly known as nitya utsava kavi has recently passed away and recently r v smith also passed away he was an eminent historian now chuni goswami was the former indian football captain and rudratej singh was bmw india ceo who passed away recently who was awarded international men's odi player of the year according to annual new zealand cricket award right answer is ken williamson and rosteller awarded international men's t20 player of the year now suzy bates awarded international women's odi player and sophie devine awarded international women's t20 player of the year and recently ben stokes won the sir garfield sowers trophy for the icc player of the year which state union territory 
has become India's first state to provide free insurance cover premium to its people under Mahatma Jyotiba Phule Jan Arogya Yojana. Right answer is Maharashtra. Under this Yojana, an announcement has been made and a state will provide free health treatment to 100% population of the state. Now, Maharashtra government recently renamed Aurangabad Airport to Chhatrapati Sambhaji Maharaj Airport and Mumbai Central Railway Station to Nana Shankar Shet Terminus. And recently, Mumbai Central becomes India's first eat right station with four star rating by Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, that is FSSAI. Now, Chandigarh launched CHT COVID mobile app and Himachal Pradesh recently launched Shahari Rojgar Guarantee Yojana that will provide 120 days of employment to those living in urban areas. Name the product from Kashmir which has got geographical indication tag recently that is GI tag. So right answer is Kashmir's saffron and recently Manipur's black rice, Gorakpur's terracotta, Kovilpatti's kadalai mittai and Darjeeling's green and white tea has given GI tag. Which country has restricted the use of saliva and sweat to shine cricket ball under COVID-19 guidelines? Right answer is Australia. And Sri Lanka has become the first South Asian nation to criminalize match fixing. Now ICC has lifted ban on Zimbabwe and Nepal. And recently the United States become the 105th member of ICC and J. Arun Kumar has been appointed USA men's head coach for a period of two years. Which IIT institution has developed a lightweight alloy to replace steel aluminium in cars? Right answer is IIT Madras. So Indian Institute of Technology Madras partnered with the University of North Texas and United States Army Lab in developing a magnesium alloy to replace the steel and aluminium in the automobile industry to reduce the carbon footprint and increase fuel efficiency. And recently IIT Madras has launched India's first standing wheelchair. R. Srirekha will be first woman director general of police of which state? Right answer is Kerala. Which day has been observed as International Day of United Nation Peacekeepers with the theme Women in Peacekeeping a Key to Peace? Right answer is 29th May. And this day is dedicated to all the men and women who have served as military, police or civilians in the UN peacekeeping operations. And 29th May is also observed as International Everest Day. It was on this day Nepal's Tenzing Norgay and New Zealand's Edmund Hillary has climbed the Mount Everest as the first humans to achieve the feat. Now 28th May is observed globally as World Hunger Day with the objective to raise awareness about more than 820 million people living in chronic hunger worldwide. How much loan amount has been signed between India and Asian Development Bank to improve road infrastructure in Maharashtra? Right answer is 177 million dollar. Thierry Delaporte has been appointed by which IT company as its new CEO and MD? Right answer is Wipro. So Wipro has appointed Thierry Delaporte as its new CEO and managing director. Which state government will develop 800 km roads as herbal roads in the state? Right answer is Uttar Pradesh. 
so the government of uttar pradesh will develop 800 km long herbal roads in the state which will be lined with medicinal and herbal trees on each side who has been awarded with kristop merits prize for the year 2020 which is one of the france top science prizes right answer is kresha abdul karim so south african hiv researcher kresha abdul karim who found that a topical gel could stop many women catching the virus has been awarded with kristop merits prize with a prize money of 5 lakh 51000 dollar now hillel frostenberg and gregory muglis has won the apple prize 2020 and recently abdul uhab soe has won 13th international arab fiction prize 2020 for his novel the spartan court whereas sanjana kapoor has been awarded with french owner for theater artist which state is to build india's first dolphin observatory right answer is bihar so the bihar government will set up india's first dolphin observatory in bhagalpur district now india's first elephant rehabilitation center is to be set up in kuttur kerala and uttar pradesh to set up state's first vulture conservation and breeding center in Farenda area of Maharaj Ganj district which country hosted BRICS heads of tax authorities meet right answer is Russia so Russia hosted BRICS heads of tax authorities meet which state has started mukhya mantri swarajgar yojana for returnee migrants right answer is Uttarakhand So Uttarakhand Chief Minister Trivendra Singh Rawat has inaugurated the Mukhya Mantri Swarajgar Yojana for returnee migrants. The project aims at giving self-employment opportunities to youth and a boost to reverse migration, especially entrepreneurs returning to Uttarakhand and encourage skilled and unskilled artisans, handicrafts and unemployed youths to start their own business which state has started rozgar setu scheme for skilled workers right answer is madhya pradesh so madhya pradesh government has started rozgar setu scheme for skilled workers and this scheme would help to secure employment for skilled workers who have returned to the state in the covid 19 situation The government of Madhya Pradesh launched a portal MP Rozgar Setu portal for the unemployed migrants to register and find jobs in the field related to their skills. Which country has joined G7 International Panel for setting ethical guidelines for the use of artificial intelligence? Right answer is United States. Which company has acquired Amsterdam based electric scooter maker Etalgo? Right answer is Ola Electric. So Ola Electric has acquired Amsterdam based electric scooter maker Etalgo. The foundation stone for a missile park Agniprastha was laid at which place? Right answer is INS Kalinga. So the foundation stone for a missile park Agni Prastha was laid at INS Kalinga Naval Base in Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Who has been appointed as the independent director of airline company Indigo? Right answer is Venkatramani Sumantran. Now recently Rajiv Bansal has been appointed as chairman and managing director of Air India, whereas Vinay Dubey has been appointed as ceo of goyer and recently narinder batra appointed as a member of the olympic channel commission wada has banned india's long distance runner kiranjit kaur for how many years right answer is 4 years so india's long distance runner kiranjit kaur has been banned for 4 years by world athletics 
एंटी डोपिंग बॉडी फॉर टेस्टिंग पॉजिटिव फॉर ए बैंड सब्सटेंस दैट इज एनोबोसर्म एंड रिमेम्बर The headquarters of WADA is at Montreal, Canada, and the president is Craig Reedy. Which IT company has signed partnership with Zurich-based software company Avalok to provide end-to-end -end wealth management capabilities through digital platforms? Right answer is Infosys. So, who has been appointed new chairman of J.P. Morgan South Asia and? southeast asia right answer is leo puri now recently emman isar has become the new chief executive officer of french technology major capgemini group and david lee becomes new ceo of hue india whereas pekka landmark has been appointed as president and ceo of nokia which state government has launched jeevan amrit yojana to boost immune system of people to fight corona virus right answer is madhya pradesh now madhya pradesh recently launched unified smart cards for a driving license and vehicle registration being the first state in the country to do so and madhya pradesh also launched the mandu festival at 2019 and remember govinda has been appointed as the brand ambassador of madhya pradesh now chatisgarh has launched india's first garbage cafe in ambikapur and recently chatisgarh also launched a donations on wheels campaign where ration packets are being delivered at the door step of people in need now kerala now kerala launched break the chain campaign to maintain social distance thus helping in breaking the corona chain karen kerala also launched shepad scheme as an awareness program on menstrual hygiene which day has been observed as international labor day right answer is 1st may Now 30th April is observed as International Jazz Day to create awareness around the world of the virtues of jazz as a force of place unity and cooperation among people It was hosted online by Harpik Hancock who is an American pianist and is the UNESCO's goodwill ambassador Now India celebrated 30th April as Ayushman Bharat Divas which promotes affordable medical facilities in remote areas of the country based on the socio economic caste census database who has been appointed as interim md and ceo of pnb housing right answer is neeraj vyas now ajay bisaria has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Canada Gopal Bagle has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka Vinay Mohan Quatra has been appointed as High Commissioner to Nepal whereas Riva Ganguly Das has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh Who has been named among world's top 20 leaders according to the medicine maker power list 2020 right answer is kiran majumdar shaw and she is the chairperson and managing director of bayakan limited now geeta gopinath appointed as chief economist of imf anshula kant has been appointed as chief financial officer and managing director of world bank Kali Puri recently awarded with India's most powerful woman in media whereas Angela Merkel is German chancellor and recently she topped Forbes list of 100 most powerful women in the world which state government has launched Ambare Anganwadi to help children during lockdown right answer is Gujarat and recently gujarat has launched 
भली दिकरी योजना इन फेवर ऑफ इंप्रूविंग गर्ल्स बर्थ रेशियो हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज इंडिया नेक्स्ट एम्बेसडर टू द यूनाइटेड नेशन राइट आंसर इज टी एस तिरुमूर्ति नाउ बेरी ओ फेरल इज द ऑस्ट्रेलियन हाई कमिश्नर टू इंडिया दीपक मित्तल हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज इंडियन हाई कमिश्नर टू कतर पीयूष श्रीवास्तव हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज इंडियन हाई कमिश्नर टू बहरान whereas raj lakshmi singh dev has been appointed as a president of a rowing federation of india who has been honored by american academy of arts and science for distinguished work in the field of science right answer is shobhana narasimhan now shobhana narasimhan is a professor from the theoretical science unit at the jawarlal nehru center for advanced scientific research she has been elected as an international honorary member to the american academy of arts and science she has done remarkable work on the national design of nanomaterials determining the effect of lowering of dimensionality and reduction of size on the properties of material now thalapil pradeep is a professor from iit madras and selected for the nikkei asia prize 2020 in the field of science and technology for his pioneering work in nanotechnology based water purification other individuals who are been selected in that nikkei asia prize 2020 are ram prasad kadeli for culture and community and he is from nepal and antony tan and tan hui ling from malaysia in the field of economic and business innovation and recently manipuri doctor thangjam dhabali singh was conferred order of rising sun award by japan for promoting a better understand of japan in india and deepening ties between the two countries who has launched ebook professor b b lal india rediscovered right answer is prahlad singh patel now union home minister amit shah recently released a book karma yodha granth written on the life of prime minister shri narendra modi and amit shah also launched the book listening learning and leading based on venka naidu's two years as vice president of india and prime minister sri narendra modi released a book digital nation written by n chandrasekharan and rupa purushottaman now recently venka naidu was conferred with highest civilian honor of comoros the order of green crescent by comoros president Azoli Asomoni and the capital of Comoros is Moroni and currency is franc and Venkaiah Naidu became the first Indian to receive the degree of doctor of philosophy from the University of Peace in the Costa Rican capital of San Jose for his contribution to the rule of law democracy and sustainable development in india which state government has launched the pranavayu program right answer is karnataka now the city corporation in bangalore has launched this program to create awareness via advertising in the media about the importance of carrying out self examination for early detection of any ailment that could deteriorate the condition if contracted with the viral infection that is covid 19 which day has been observed as international nurses day 2020 right answer is 12th may now this day is observed globally to commemorate the birth anniversary of florence nightingale and this year's theme was nursing the world to health 
and the world health organization has designated the year 2020 as the international year of the nurse and midwife now 10th may was observed as international mother's day 11th may was observed as national technology day 8th may was observed as world thalassemia day whereas 2nd may is observed as world tuna day which organization has developed uv systems to sanitize electronic gadgets right answer is drdo that is a defense research development organization so the drdo research center imarat lab hyderabad has developed an automated contactless uvc sanitization cabinet named defense research ultraviolet sanitizers that is troops which country has announced once in a generation transport sector investment right answer is united kingdom so the united kingdom government has announced around 2 billion pounds with a significant portion kept for the green recovery of the country after this covid 19 pandemic which country has named a street after indian poet ravindranath tagore on his 159th birth anniversary right answer is israel so israel has named a street in tel aviv after ravindranath tagore as a tribute on his 159th birth anniversary and israel named it tagore street which ministry has launched the Suraksha Store Initiative? Right answer is Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. So the Department of Consumer Affairs has collaborated with technological startups Safe Job to prevent the spread of coronavirus at the local grocery shops. French cyclist Remy D. Gregorio has been banned by International Cycling Union, that is UCI, for a period of four years for using a form of banned blood boosting hormone EPO, that is erythroprotein. Now, question is where is the headquarter of UCI? Right answer is Eagle, Switzerland. Which states Shorai Khobar? painting has been recently received the geographical indication that is GI tag. Right answer is Jharkhand. And this Shorai Khobar is a traditional painting practiced by the local tribal women of Jharkhand. And recently Kashmir's saffron, Tilangana's Telia Rumal, Manipur's black rice, Chakhao and Gorakhpur's terracotta all have received GI tags. Which city of Gujarat has been mandated for digital payment for home delivery? Right answer is Ahmedabad. So this step has been taken by the state government to prevent the spread of COVID-19 through currency notes. And recently Gujarat CM unveils second tallest statue of Sardar Ballabhai Patel at Ahmedabad. And the Sardar Patel Stadium, commonly known as Motera Stadium, which is world's largest cricket stadium, was inaugurated by US President Donald Trump. And recently, world's first CNG port terminal to be set up at Bhavnagar with the help of Rs. 1900 crore joint venture between UK-based Foresight Group and Mumbai-based Padma Nabha. Mafatlal Group, which country has owned the first edition of FIDChess.com Online Nations Cup? Right answer is China. So China has beaten USA being the topper in the points table in the round robin stage and India finished at 5th rank. Who addressed a digital conference restart to celebrate the National Technology Day? Right answer is Dr. Harshvardhan. 
and restart stands for reboot the economy through science technology and research translations and the conference was organized jointly by technology department board and confederation of indian industry now jitendra singh addressed the indo bangladesh virtual conference organized by asocham and mr niranjan hiranandani is the president of asocham the ministry of science and technology has approved the setting up of a supercomputer in which nit right answer is nit tiruchirappalli and the supercomputer has been sanctioned at the cost of 17 crores the step has been taken after the institute was declared part of the national supercomputing mission of the government of india who has been appointed as new director on central board of reserve bank of india right answer is tarun bajaj and dps negi has appointed as director general to labor bureau whereas adhir ranjan choudhury has been reappointed as chairperson of parliament's public accounts committee who has written the book titled vijayan at kargil the life of a kargil hero right answer is colonel v n thapar and neha divedi now this book is a biography of beer chakra awardi posthumously captain vijayan thapar and recently n chandrasekharan and rupa purushottaman has written a book digital nation now raguram rajan has authored a book i do what i do salman rosti has written a book key shot and former rbi governor t subbar rao has written a book who moved my interest rate which housing finance company has partnered with iit delhi to support research and development for reusable personal protective equipment that is ppe right answer is pnb housing finance now this agreement aims to enhance the research and development of a unique prototype material to be employed in making affordable sustainable and reusable ppe surgical gowns and masks and pnb housing finance partnered with japan international cooperation agency that is jica to raise 75 million dollar with co-financing of 25 million dollar by city bank based on the facility of accelerating financial inclusion in asia and recently aditya birla finance has signed a partnership agreement with indian dental association to offer emis for patients getting dental treatments during the 11th world dental show 2019 held in mumbai which state government has launched a new program nika to aware family members of migrant returnees right answer is himachal pradesh which campaign has been launched by niti ayog to protect senior citizens during covid 19 right answer is surakshit dada dadi and nana nani abhiyan now save our seniors campaign was launched in shimla and recently tata tea has launched a campaign for the elderly person through their social initiative bado ke liye jagore jagore whereas mission goalpada cares has been launched by assam's goalpada to look after the most vulnerable section of the society the senior citizens bharat dynamics limited pack with which institute to make large scale ventilators developed by noka robotics right answer is iit kanpur now indian institute of information technology and management kerala that is iiitm kerala 
has recently developed an artificial intelligence based search engine for covid-19 studies this search engine will help researchers to get deeper insights into scientific studies to find an early solution to covid-19 crisis and iiit delhi has developed a mobile app wash karo to warn the people about corona virus containment zones nearby india has signed mou with which country for coking coal mining right answer is russia so coal india signed mou with two russian entities within the areas of coking coal mining within the russian far east and therefore the arctic region the first mou was signed with far eastern agency for attracting investments and supporting exports that is feaaiic and the second mou with eastern mining a company of russian federation which day has been observed as world migratory bird day right answer is 9th may and this year theme is birds connect our world now the world migratory bird day is observed to raise awareness of migratory birds and the importance of international cooperation to conserve them and this year international mothers day has been celebrated on 10th may Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated 80 km crucial road link connecting Lipu Lake Pass with Dharsula. Now Lipu Lake Pass is in which state? Right answer is Uttarakhand. Now this road will connect close to the line of actual control and opens a new route for Kailash Mansarovar Yatra via Lipu Lake Pass. Name the former cricketer who is set to serve his second term as the president of Marylebone Cricket Club. Right answer is Kumara Sangakkara, and uh, he is from Sri Lanka. Now, Robin Singh has been appointed as new director of UAE Cricket Board. J Arun Kumar has been appointed as the head coach of US cricket team. G S Lakshmi. became first female to be appointed to the ICC international panel of match referee whereas clear polosak from australia became the first woman umpire ever to stand in a men's one day international which state has launched a scholarship portal under its mukhyamantri yuva yoga yog yojana right answer is tripura Name the new currency introduced by Iran to tackle inflation. Right answer is toman. Now Iran introduces new currency toman to tackle inflation. So Iran national currency is going to be changed from real to toman which is adequate to 10000 rials. Now recently Eco has been announced as the currency of 8 countries and the countries are Mali, Niger, Senegal, Benin, Togo, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau and Ivory Coast. And recently Switzerland announced to produce a commemorative 20 franc silver coin in the honor of tennis legend Roger Federer. Which country has launched a new rocket named Long March 5B? Right answer is China. So China has successfully launched the rocket Long March 5B from Wenchang launch site located at Hainan, China. Now China is planning to build a huge space station called Tiangong and this rocket will help China in transporting astronauts to tiangong now india to launch india's first manned space mission gaganyaan in december 2021 and four astronauts have been identified who are to be trained by russia and recently isro developed a female looking space wearing humanoid ro- robot vion mitra 
to function on board Gaganyan. Which actress term as goodwill ambassador has been extended till 2022 by United Nations Environment Program that is UNEP. Right answer is Dia Mirza. And remember Dia Mirza is also the United Nations Sustainability Development Goal Advocate. Now recently UNICEF honored Priyanka Chopra the Danny K Humanitarian Award for her philanthropic work and Deepika Padukone has been awarded with Crystal Award 2020 in Davos for raising awareness around mental health issues. And remember Deepika Padukone and PV Sindhu has been appointed brand ambassador of Bharat Ki Lakshmi initiative whereas Mexican actress Yalitza Aparicchio was designated UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador for a period of two years. Which state has become country's first state to provide midday meal ration? Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. Now Uttar Pradesh became first state to geotag community kitchens with Google. And Haryana government recently started Atal Kisan Mazdoor canteens to provide affordable and cheap meals to farmers and laborers at 10 rupees per plate. And recently Maharashtra government launched Shiv Bhojan scheme to provide meals at 10 rupees per plate. Whereas Kerala recently launched Kudumbashri kitchens. Which vehicle company has launched an online vehicle ownership solution platform titled Own Online? Right answer is Mahindra and Mahindra Limited. Now this platform has been launched to offer its customers a transparent, seamless and contactless experience from selection to the delivery of the vehicle. Through this platform a customer can own a Mahindra vehicle in four simple steps from their homes and the MD and CEO of Mahindra and Mahindra Limited is Mr. Pavan Goenka. The Indian Council of Medical Research that is ICMR has tied up with which biotechnology company to develop COVID-19 vaccine? Right answer is Bharat Biotech. Now the vaccine is to be developed using the strains that have been isolated from COVID-19 patients at ICMR's National Institute of Virology that is NIV at Pune. And Bharat Biotech is headquartered in Hyderabad and ICMR's headquarters is in New Delhi and Director General is Mr. Balram Bhargav. Which insurance company has launched Arogya Sanjeevani Health Insurance Policy? Right answer is SBI General Insurance. So SBI General Insurance has launched the standard health insurance policy named Arogya Sanjeevani Health Insurance Policy. This policy provides hospitalization cover anywhere in India with some assured ranging from 1 lakh to 5 lakhs. The policy has been designed at the instance of the IRDI with standard coverage and affordable premiums. And remember IRDI headquarters is in Hyderabad and chairman is Subhash Chandra Kundia. Which state has set up a 100 crore fund to help startups? Right answer is Gujarat. So Gujarat has set up a 100 crore fund to help startups. The government of India has started which mission to assist island nations in Eastern Indian Ocean region nations for COVID-19? Right answer is Mission Sagar. And Sagar stands for security and growth for all in the region. Under this mission, Indian naval ship Kesari has been deployed 
carrying on board two medical assistant teams essential food items and covid-19 related medicines and special ayurvedic medicines for maldives mauritius seychelles madagascar and comoros and samudra setu is the indian navy's first massive evacuation exercise amid the covid outbreak now matla avian was a coastal security exercise launched by indian navy from kolkata to interact with the local community spread awareness on coastal security and understand the navigational complexities in the sundarbans and presently indian navy launched operation vanilla in support of the natural disaster in flood hit madagascar and operation namaste was launched by indian army to fight covid-19 who has become a first indian to win fed cup heart award right answer is sania mirza so indian tennis player sania mirza becomes first indian to win fed cup heart award 2020 for asia oceania zone and she beats 16 year old priska madelin nugroho from indonesia for this category and received the award for her successful comeback after becoming a mother now the fed cup heart award is an international tennis federation initiative that was established in 2009 to recognize those fed cup players who represent their countries with distinction show exceptional courage on court and demonstrate outstanding commitment to the ideals of the competition and remember international tennis federation headquarters is in london uk and president is david hackerty now recently bianca andrescu from canada won the us open 2019 and sofia kenin from australia won the australian open 2020 and recently australia's ashley barty won the 2019 french open and she has been awarded with the don award which is australian sports highest individual honor name the indian journalist who is among the 17 recipients awarded with Dutch Will Freedom of Speech Award 2020 for showing outstanding commitment to human rights and freedom to expression in the media. Right answer is Siddharth Varadarajan. And this award was announced on the occasion of the World Press Freedom Day on 3rd May 2020 and recently India ranked 148th in the world press freedom index 2020 which was topped by norway now ravish kumar was awarded with raman maxese award 2020 and gauri lankesh award for journalism and recently three indian journalists namely dar yasin mukhtar khan and channi anand has been honored with the 2020 pulitzer award in the field of feature photography who is the head of the 24 member panel formed by tamil nadu to improve fiscal position right answer is c rangarajan who has become new chairman of cbsc right answer is manoj ahuja now manoj ahuja is an odisha cadre ias and he will replace anita karwal now suresh Chandra Sharma is the chairman of National Medical Commission Krishna Mohan Prasad has become India's first principal chief commissioner of income tax and M Ajit Kumar has been appointed as chairman of CBIC Which portal has been launched by Ministry of Civil Aviation to fast track drone related operations for COVID-19 Right answer is Garud. 
who has recently launched Ayush Sanjeevani mobile app and two Ayush based studies related to COVID-19. Right answer is Dr. Harsh Vardhan and he is the Union Health Minister of India. So this app will help to generate data on acceptance and usage of Ayush advocacies and measures among the population. And recently Dr. Jitendra Singh addressed the bamboo conclave held via video conferencing to emphasize on the importance of bamboo to India's post-COVID economy. Veteran director and story artist Rob Gibbs passed away. He belongs to which country? Right answer is USA. So he was an American. Name the biggest ever evacuation exercise launched by government of India to bring Indians from abroad. Right answer is Bande Bharat. And recently the Indian Navy has launched the operation Samudra Shetu to evacuate Indians stranded overseas. Now Operation Namaste was an operation by Indian Army and Operation Number Plate was exercised by Railway Protection Force whereas Operation Nakel has been launched by the Ghaziabad Police and under which the identity of all auto rickshaw drivers will be verified and a unique four digit number has to be allotted to them. Which state government has increased the retirement age of government staffs and teachers to 59? Right answer is Tamil Nadu. So Tamil Nadu government has increased the retirement age of government staffs and teachers from 58 to 59 years. Which country's leader has been awarded World War II commemorative war medal by Russia? Right answer is North Korea. So the president of Russia Vladimir Putin has awarded Kim Jong Un the World War II medal to mark the 75th anniversary of the victory over Nazi Germany. Which state government has launched the comprehensive monitoring of agriculture price and procurement that is CMAP application? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. So this app will monitor the agricultural requirements of farmers and will provide data with regards to cost, marketing facilities and procurement of the farmers for their agricultural produce. Now Jharkhand has launched Pirsa Harshit Gram Yojana under which Plantations will be undertaken on the two sides of the roads of the government as well as private land. Which firm has developed voice based apps to prevent touching smartphones to check transactions? Right answer is Bharat Pay. So Bharat Pay has launched two voice based apps to do away with the necessity of touching the handset to view the amount received or the balance in the account. The Pesa Bolega is a button on the app which will provide voice alerts for transactions. Which day has been observed as World Thalassemia Day 2020 with the theme The Dawning of a New Era for Thalassemia? Right answer is 8 May. How much amount disbursed by NABARD to state cooperative banks and regional rural banks to extend credit to farmers? Right answer is 12,767 crore. So, NABARD dispersed Rs 12,767 crores to state cooperative banks and regional rural banks across the country to increase their resources for extending a credit to farmers during the lockdown. Now NABARD chairman is Mr. Harsh Kumar Bhanwala and NABARD is headquartered in Mumbai.
which state government has banned 11 brands of pan masala for one year in the state right answer is jharkhand which institute has signed mou with the coir board to set up a center of excellence right answer is iit madras which national organization has signed a mou with art of living that is aol to promote tribal enterprises under i stand with humanity campaign of aol right answer is a tribal cooperative marketing development federation of india that is tribe now the art of living foundation has agreed to provide free ration kits to needy tribes in india artisans and have identified 9409 needy tribal artisans located across the country for distribution of ration kits now arjun munda is the union minister of tribal affairs and his constituency is kunti jharkhand indian council of medical research has partnered with indian post for delivery of covid 19 test kits where is the headquarter of icmr right answer is new delhi name the vehicle developed in madhya pradesh for investigating suspected patients without coming in contact right answer is sanjeevani now this vehicle will eliminate the requirement of personal protective equipment and will help in avoiding the incidents of attack that have occurred on the health workers how much loan amount has been approved by asian infrastructure bank for india's covid-19 emergency response and health systems preparedness project right answer is 500 million dollar now aiib has also approved 500 million dollar to india for mumbai suburban rail infrastructure 100 million dollar has been approved by aiib for solar and wind projects and 335 million dollar for bangalore metro now world bank has approved 165 million dollar to odisha for odisha climate resilient agricultural project and 300 million dollar has been approved to west bengal by world bank to develop kolkata which state government has launched pravasi rahat mitra app right answer is uttar pradesh so up government launched pravasi rahat mitra mobile app to connect migrants with schemes and jobs by this app the government will be able to know about the status of covid 19 screening bank account number educational qualifications and other details about migrant laborers put up in shelter homes and those who have reached their homes directly and recently west bengal government has launched exit app for people from other states stuck in west bengal view lockdown and want to return to their native homes which airport has won this year's skytrax award for best airport in india and central asia right answer is kempegowda international airport bengaluru so the kempegowda international airport bengaluru has won this year's skytrax award for best regional airport in india and central asia now the airport was voted by customers because of the best regional airport in india and central asia for the third time in four years at the 2020 world airports award and recently the Indira Gandhi International Airport at New Delhi has been awarded for the world best airport in the category of over 40 million passengers. Now Cochin Airport has become world's first fully solar powered airport and has won the United Nations Environment Award for Entrepreneurial Vision. it was also awarded as the best award in terms of 
passenger satisfaction on business standards and recently lal bahadur shastri international airport will become the it country's first airport to have a national highway running under its runway prime minister narendra modi has announced how much amount economic package on land labor liquidity and law right answer is 20 lakh crore which ministry has launched champions portal right answer is union ministry of msme now champions stand for creation and harmonious application of modern processes for increasing the output and national strength champions portal aims to make the smaller units big by saving their grievances encouraging supporting helping and hand holding and the system is enabled by artificial intelligence data analytics and machine learning in addition to the ICT tools including telephone internet and video conference and remember the union msme minister is nitin gadkari and his constituency is nagpur maharashtra who has launched central university of odisha helpline bharosa right answer is ramesh pokhrel nishank name the biopic on prince harry and meghan markle's life written by omit scoby and caroline duran right answer is finding freedom harry and meghan and the making of a modern royal family now this book describes details of the couple who stepped back as frontline royals to settle down in the us in april 2020 and first man is the biopic of neil armstrong Rocketman is the biopic on the life of British musician Elton John. The Accidental Prime Minister is the biopic on former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Whereas Merikom is the biopic of Merikom. Which state government has launched FIR Aapke Dwar Yojana? Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. Now this yojana will be implemented in a police station under 11 divisions of the state. It is a pilot project under which a complainant is supposed to dial police emergency number 100 to lodge an FIR. Madhya Pradesh also launched helpline dial 112 on the occasion to facilitate immediate availability of ambulance. police and fire fighting services now recently jharkhand has launched birsa harit gram yojana under which plantations will be undertaken on the two sides of roads of the government as well as private land and tamil nadu has become the first state to enact a law on contract farming whereas Uttarakhand has become the first state to implement agricultural land leasing policy. Which organization has released postage stamp on 40th anniversary of smallpox eradication? Right answer is World Health Organization. And World Health Organization is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland and Director General is Tedros Adhanom which company has launched the solar powered mobile swap collection right answer is Celco Solar Light which department of indian government has launched the animal husbandry startup grant challenge right answer is department of animal husbandry and dairy now giriraj singh is the Union Minister of Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairy whose term as president of International Hockey Federation has been extended till 
May 2021. Right answer is Narinder Batra. Now, Vaniza Rupani has been honored of naming NASA's first helicopter as Ingenuity and Shobana Narsimhan has been elected as an international honorary member to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and recently Dr. Niti Kumar, a senior scientist from Division of Molecular Parasitology and Immunology, Lucknow, has received Sir Woman Excellence Award. Which day has been celebrated as International Mother's Day? Right answer is 10th May. Now, Mother's Day is celebrated on every second Sunday of May month and this year it's 10th May. And India celebrates National Technology Day on 11th May. Now, this day marks the successfully tested Shakti-1 nuclear missile at the Indian Army's Pokhran test range in Rajasthan. Which company has tied up with Tata Consumer Products to deliver essential goods to people? Right answer is Zomato. So, Tata Consumer has tied up with Zomato and Domino's Pizza to deliver essential goods to people and strengthen its direct distribution model. Who has become new Prime Minister of Iraq? Right answer is Mustafa al Kadimi. He is serving as the head of Iraq's National Intelligence Service that is NIS and the capital of Iraq is Baghdad and currency is Iraqi dinar. Now recently Iraq was in news as Iran's most powerful military commander General Qasim Soleimani was killed by a US airstrike in Iraq. Now Mahinda Rajapaksha and Gotabaya Rajapaksha has been elected as Prime Minister and President of Sri Lanka. It is a very confusing between the two Rajapaksha brothers. So you can apply a trick M for Minister and M for Mahinda. So, Mahinda Rajapaksha will be the Prime Minister. Now, recently, Praveen Jugnauth has been elected as Prime Minister of Mauritius and Prithvi Raj Singh Rupan has elected as President of Mauritius. Which state government has launched Ayush Kavach COVID app? Right answer is Uttar Pradesh. Now this app has been developed by Ayush Ministry and this app will provide measures to boost immunity based on natural resources. The app will give information about how kitchen ingredients such as cinnamon, tulsi and clove can be used to enhance the body's immunity to fight against COVID-19. And recently Uttar Pradesh become the first state to geotag community kitchens. UP government tied up with Google to geomap the locations of all these kitchens. And recently Madhya Pradesh government launched Jeevan Amrit Yojana to boost the immune system of people to fight COVID-19. Now Himachal Pradesh government started Mukhya Mantri Sahari Rojkar Guarantee Yojana to assure 120 days employment to people living in urban areas. Which day is observed as World Athletics Day 2020? So 7th May is observed as World Athletics Day 2020. This day is celebrated to increase public awareness about sports and to educate youngsters about the importance of sports. And recently 5th May was observed as International Day of the Midwife and this year's theme was Celebrate, Demonstrate, Mobilize, Unite, Our Time is Now. And the World Health Organization has designated the 2020 Year of Nurse and Midwife to commemorate the 200th birth anniversary of nursing pioneer Florence Nightingale. 
in which city iit alumni council has launched covid 19 test bus right answer is mumbai maharashtra now this bus is based on the kodoi architecture model that is made to support the affordable and rapid testing which involves e vehicles for contactless sample collections and telemedicine artificial intelligence based tele radiology and algorithm based on pooled genetic testing and mega labs capable of conducting up to 5 million tests per month per lab the bus has the capacity to collect 10 to 15 samples per hour now west bengal government has launched the exit app for people from other states who are stuck in west bengal view lockdown and deserves to return to their native place who has launched goal that is going online as leaders program for digital skilling of tribal youth right answer is arjun munda and he is the union minister for tribal affairs and his constituency is kunti charkhand and he is also the president of archery association of india now the goal program is a joint initiative of facebook india with the ministry of tribal affairs and this program will offer mentorship to tribal youth via digital mode and will act as a catalyst to explore hidden talents of the tribal youth the program will empower 5000 tribal youths in the present phase in order to harness the full potential of digital platforms as well as tools to understand new ways of doing business and recently union minister for health and family welfare dr harshvardhan represented india for 32nd commonwealth ministers virtual meet whose theme was delivering a coordinated commonwealth covid-19 response who will step down from the director general of world trade organization that is wto in august right answer is roberto azevedo nabard has sanctioned rupees 1500 crores to which state to ensure continuous credit flow to farmers through state cooperative banks right answer is punjab so the national bank for agricultural and rural development has sanctioned rupees 1500 crores for punjab to ensure continuous credit flow to farmers through state cooperative banks for covid-19 and out of this 1500 crore 1000 crores has been sanctioned to punjab state cooperative bank and 500 crore has been sanctioned to punjab gramin bank and recently haryana government launched mukhya mantri parivar samriddhi yojana to provide social security benefits to eligible families of the state under this scheme rupees 6000 annual financial assistance will be provided to those families whose annual income is up to 1.5 lakh and land holding is less than 5 acres and bihar has recently launched an app for e booking of fish with doorstep delivery amid the lockdown now madhya pradesh has launched jeevan amrit yojana to boost the immune system of people to fight covid-19 alibaba co-founder jack ma will resign from softbank board question is where is the headquarter of softbank right answer is minato city tokyo japan now ADB headquarter is in Manila Beijing is the headquarter of AIIB Shanghai is the headquarter of New Development Bank whereas Washington DC is the headquarter of International Monetary Fund and World Bank which bank has become the first bank in India to allow video KYC 
राइट आंसर इज कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक सो कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक बिकम्स फर्स्ट बैंक इन इंडिया टू अलाउ वीडियो नो योर कस्टमर फेसिलिटी फॉर कस्टमर्स ओपनिंग सेविंग्स अकाउंट ऑन कोटेक एट वन वन द बैंक डिजिटल बैंकिंग प्लेटफॉर्म द इनिशियटिव इज प्रेजेंटली बींग लॉन्च ऑन अ पायलट बेसिस फॉर सेविंग्स अकाउंट विथ वीडियो के वाई सी वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट सिग्नेचर आर कंप्लीटेड वाया अ वीडियो कॉल विथ अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम द बैंक विदाउट एनी फिजिकल इंटरफेस नाउ हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र एंड एम डी एंड सीईओ इज मिस्टर उदय कोटेक एंड रिसेंटली जुबैर इकबाल हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बैंक फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स नाउ द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया हैज अपॉइंटेड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बैंक एज द लीड बैंकर फॉर द न्यूली कार्ड Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and State Bank of India appointed as the lead convener bank for Ladakh Bundesliga that is federal league the primary football league of which country has become the first major sports event to resume post covid-19 lockdown right answer is germany which state has launched charan paduka campaign for migrant laborers right answer is madhya pradesh so the charan paduka campaign has been launched by the madhya pradesh government for the migrant laborers moving through the state and under this campaign shoes and slippers will be offered to those laborers going barefoot in order to reduce their pain now recently the west bengal government has launched sneher poros and prochesta schemes now the sneher poros scheme aims to provide support for the migrant workers with rupees 1000 and prochesta scheme launched to help the workers of the unorganized sector of west bengal to enable them to earn their living in the lockdown situation which bank has started gold loan business vertical right answer is canada bank so canada bank has started a special business vertical dedicated to gold loans this business vertical for gold loans to meet the financial needs of its customers due to the covid-19 pandemic the bank has launched a gold loan campaign till 30th june 2020 with an interest rate as low as 7.85% per annum and the canada bank headquarter is in bangalore karnataka and the md and ceo is lv prabhakar whereas the chairman is mr tn manoharan now icici bank recently launched banking services on whatsapp and voice banking services on amazon alexa and google assistant and recently icici bank has also launched fd health scheme and HDFC Bank has launched co-branded credit card with country's largest airline Indigo which IIT has recently implemented the enterprise resource planning software Samarth right answer is IIT Kurukshetra so the National Institute of Technology Kurukshetra has implemented the enterprise resource planning software Samarth and the software will automate operation of the institute which is one among the 30 institutes of national importance and recently iit kharagpur and iit gandhinagar have collaborated with the national council of science museum to develop gandhipedia and researchers at indian institute of technology gandhinagar have developed an interactive covid-19 dashboard named mir ahd covid-19 dashboard to help administrators hospitals as well as public in planning optimized testing for the coronavirus and containing community infection in various post lockdown scenarios and recently iit gandhinagar has launched 
project isaac to engage its students in creative projects to enhance their critical skills while they are confined to their rooms because of covid-19 now iit mandi and e work society of the institute launched maitri mask abhiyan where good quality reusable and washable cotton masks are being made by women in several indian villages who has approved rupees 400 crore defense testing infrastructure scheme right answer is rajnath singh so a defense testing infrastructure scheme has been approved by the defense minister shri rajnath singh with an outlay of rupees 400 crore to help private sector defense and aerospace companies affordable facilities to test as well as validate the weaponry designed by them and the scheme will promote indigenous defense capability specifically amongst micro small and medium enterprises that is msmes and startups now the definition of msme has been revised by increasing the investment limit of micro small medium enterprises and the new definition is as follows for micro enterprise investment of up to rupees 1 crore and turnover of up to rupees 5 crore for small enterprise investment of up to rupees 10 crore and turnover of up to rupees 50 crore whereas for medium enterprises investment of up to rupees 20 crore and turnover of up to rupees 100 crore who has been elected as fifth term prime minister of israel right answer is benjamin netanyahu and benjamin netanyahu will serve as prime minister for the coming 18 months till then benny gantz will serve as the defense minister of the country after 18 months both of them will exchange their roles and netanyahu will become a defense minister while gantz will be the new prime minister and recently sana marin elected the prime minister of finland and became world's youngest serving prime minister at the age of 34 now mahinda rajapaksha elected as prime minister of sri lanka and gotabaya rajapaksha elected as president of sri lanka whereas pravind jugnauth elected as prime minister of mauritius which day has been observed as international museum day with the theme Museums for Equality, Diversity and Inclusion. Right answer is 18th May. Now, International Museum Day is celebrated every year on 18th May to raise awareness about the fact that museums are an important means of cultural exchange, enrichment of cultures and development of mutual understanding, cooperation and peace among peoples now recently 16th may is observed as international day of light and 17th may has been observed as world telecommunication day with the theme connect 2030 icts for the sustainable development goals and 17th may was also observed as world hypertension day which organization has developed an online dashboard national migrant information system that is nmis right answer is national disaster management authority that is ndma so an online dashboard national migrant information system has been developed by the ndma and the dashboard has been developed to secure information regarding the movement of migrants and to facilitate the smooth movement of stranded persons across the states a central repository on migrant workers would be maintained by the dashboard nmis 
it will also support in speedy interstate communication coordination to facilitate the smooth movement of migrant workers to their native places india post has released a special postal cover dedicated to the migrant workers who is the director general of india post right answer is arundhati ghosh so india post has released a special postal cover dedicated to the migrant workers with an objective of paying a tribute to them five migrant workers were called upon from different sectors to release a special postal cover which was released during an event at the bicentennial hall of the historic mumbai gpo building karnataka's center of excellence in cyber security that is cisec has launched an accelerator program hack now who is the governor of karnataka right answer is vaju bhai bala so an accelerator program branded as hack has been launched by the karnataka's cisec now the hack is the karnataka's first cyber security specific accelerator program comprising of 21 startups on board across three cohorts and the cohorts are 10x cohort 0 to 1 cohort and virtual cohort hack has been launched to support mature indian startups in order to help them in accelerating their growth via government as well as market connections icc cricket committee has recommended banning on the use of saliva to shine the ball now who is the chairman of icc right answer is sashank manohar and recently australian cricket board has banned the use of saliva to shine the ball now giano infantino is the president of fifa and fifa has recently launched a campaign hashtag #we will win and tribute a special video to health workers and other professionals who ensure the society continues to function and remember fifa's headquarters is in Zurich Switzerland now Thomas Bach is the president of International Olympic Committee headquarter in Lausanne Switzerland and Vladimir Lisin is the president of International Shooting Sport Federation which is headquartered in Munich Germany whereas Thomas Wickert is the president of International Table Tennis Federation which is headquartered at Lausanne Switzerland which indian defense organization has launched the tour of duty internship right answer is indian army and through this program the indian army is considering a proposal allowing common citizens to voluntarily join forces for 3 years which day has been observed as world aids vaccine day right answer is 18 may 18 may was also observed as international museum day union health minister harshvardhan will take charge as the chairman of executive board of which organization right answer is world health organization so union minister of health and family welfare dr harshvardhan will take charge as the chairman of the world health organization he will replace dr hiroki nakatani of japan and the world health organization is governed by two decision making bodies the world health assembly and the executive board which state government has launched didi vehicle service right answer is madhya pradesh which state government has launched didi vehicle service right answer is madhya pradesh So Didi Vehicle Service has been launched by the women of Rural Livelihood Mission in the tribal dominated Jhabua district of Madhya Pradesh. It has been launched for rural women for the safe delivery hence proving to be a lifeline for pregnant rural women in tribal areas. The vehicle under the Didi Vehicle Service will also be available for other emergency services. And recently Tamil Nadu has become the first state to enact a law on contract farming and 
उत्तराखंड हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इम्प्लीमेंट एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड लीजिंग पॉलिसी एंड द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट मुस्लिम योगा कैंप बिगेन एट कन्वा आश्रम इन कोटवर टाउन ऑफ उत्तराखंड एंड रिसेंटली हिमाचल प्रदेश बिकम्स द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इम्प्लीमेंट द इमरजेंसी रेस्पॉन्स सपोर्ट सिस्टम विच डे हैज बीन सेलिब्रेटेड एज वर्ल्ड डे फॉर कल्चरल डायवर्सिटी फॉर डायलॉग एंड डेवलपमेंट राइट आंसर इज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मे सो वर्ल्ड डे फॉर कल्चरल डायवर्सिटी फॉर डायलॉग एंड डेवलपमेंट इज ऑब्जर्व ग्लोबली ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मे एवरी इयर and the purpose of the day is to deepen the understanding of the values of cultural diversity the 21st may is also observed as national anti terrorism day the day marks the death anniversary of india's seventh prime minister rajiv gandhi on 21st may 1991 and 20th may is observed as world meteorology day many nations on this day internationally collaborate to create awareness about meteorology and its advancement in the respective field and 20th may is also observed as world bee day globally on this day the pioneer of beekeeping anton jensa was born in 1734 in slovenia the purpose of the bee day is to acknowledge the role of bees and other pollinators for the ecosystem Which state union territory has launched Me Annapurna initiative? Right answer is Maharashtra. So Me Annapurna initiative has been launched in Maharashtra by an IRDA licensed insurance intermediary, Integrated Risk Insurance. Now this initiative has been launched as a corporate social responsibility towards the welfare of the farmers and agricultural community in Maharashtra. Now Maharashtra government recently renamed Aurangabad Airport to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Airport and Mumbai Central Railway Station to Nana Shankar Seth Terminus and recently Mumbai Central becomes India's first eat right station with four star rating by Food Safety and Standards Authority of India that is FSSAI Now Chandigarh launched CHT COVID mobile app and himachal pradesh recently launched shahari rozgar guarantee yojana that will provide 120 days of employment to those living in urban areas thomas thavane has formally resigned from the post of the prime minister of which country right answer is lesotho and iran introduces new currency toman to tackle inflation so iran's National currency is going to be changed from real to toman which is adequate to 10000 rials and president of Iran is Hassan Rouhani now recently eco has been announced as the currency of eight countries and the countries are Mali Niger Senegal Benin Togo Burkina Faso Guinea Bissau and Ivory Coast and, and recently Palau become the first country to impose a widespread ban on sunscreen to protect its vulnerable coral reefs which e-commerce company ties up with Bajaj Alliance General Insurance for digital motor insurance policy right answer is Flipkart so e-commerce major Flipkart and Bajaj Alliance General Insurance company have tied up to offer a digital motor insurance policy to flipkart's customer this partnership between the insurance company and an e-commerce major will provide seamless accessible as well as flexible insurance solution to the customers of flipkart in order to safeguard their vehicles who has become the new president of indian steel association right answer is dilip woman now Pravin Rao has been appointed as chairman of Nascom MS Dhoni has been appointed as brand ambassador of PokerStar Shivdas Meena has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of housing and urban development corporation that is Hatco whereas 
Parag Raj has been appointed as MD and CEO of Bharti AXA Life Insurance, which state union territory has launched an initiative named Sukoon COVID-19 Beat the Stress. Right answer is Jammu and Kashmir. So, Department of Information and Public Relations, Jammu and Kashmir has started an initiative Sukoon COVID-19 Beat the Stress program. This initiative spread awareness about the psychological impact of lockdown and measures to be adapted to overcome them. Who has been elected as next president of New Development Bank, that is NDB? Right answer is Marcus Trajo. So, Marcus Trajo from Brazil has been elected as next president of NDB, whereas Anil Kishora from India has been elected as next vice president and chief risk officer of the NDB. And remember, the present president is KV Kamath. Now, recently, Anshula Khan has been appointed as the chief financial officer and managing director of World Bank, and Masatsuku Asakawa from Japan has been appointed the president of Asian Development Bank. Name the cricketer who has been recently suspended from all forms of cricket for possession of heroin. Right answer is Shehan Madhushanka. So, Sri Lankan fast bowler Shehan Madhushanka has been suspended from all forms of cricket for alleged possession of heroin. And former Sri Lankan cricketer Kumar Sangakara's term as president of MCC has been extended to one year. Now, Pakistan's Umar Akmal has been banned for three years by Pakistan Cricket Board on corruption charges and ICC banned Bangladesh Sakibal Hassan for two years after preaching the sports anti-corruption code. Which country has become second largest manufacturer of personal protective equipment that is PPE in the world? Right answer is India. So, India has become the second largest manufacturer of personal protective equipment in the world following China which is currently leading producer of PPE in the world. Who has become the world's highest paid female athlete as per Forbes magazine? Right answer is Naomi Osaka. So, Japanese tennis star Naomi Osaka has become world's highest paid female athlete making $37.4 million in the past 12 months for an earnings record. Now, Indian tennis player Sania Mirza becomes first Indian to win Fed Cup Heart Award 2020 for Asia Oceania Zone. And she received the award for her successful comeback after becoming a mother. Now, the Fed Cup Heart Award is an international tennis federation initiative that was established in 2009 to recognize those Fed Cup players who represent their countries with distinction, show exceptional courage on court and demonstrate outstanding commitment to the ideals of the competition. And remember, International Tennis Federation headquarters is in London and president is David Hogarty. Now, recently, Bianca Andrescu from Canada on the US Open 2019 and Sophia Kenin from Australia won the Australian Open 2020 and recently Australia's Ashley Barty won the 2019 French Open and she has been awarded with the Dawn Award which is Australian sports highest individual honor. Who has taken over as president of the Indian Steel Association? Right answer is Dilip Women. So, Indian Steel Association has appointed Dilip Women as its new president and he is presently the CEO of Arsalal Mittal Nippon Steel India. Now, he will replace Tata Steel CEO TV Narendran. And recently, PK Purwar has been appointed as CMD of MTNL. Kapil Dev Tripathi has been appointed as Secretary to the President of India. Vinit Arora has been appointed as new MD and CEO of Paytm General Insurance Limited, whereas Vishwanathan Anand has been appointed as Ambassador WWF 
India's Environmental Educational Program, which country has recently announced to withdraw Treaty on Open Skies? Right answer is the United States. Now, the Treaty on Open Skies is an international pact which permits each state party to conduct short notice unarmed reconnaissance flights over the others entire territories to collect data on military forces and activities the treaty on open skies was signed in 2002 and recently u.s president donald trump has announced that the usa is to withdraw from open skies treaty accusing that Russia has not stuck to its part of the deal. Samsung India has joined hands with which social media giant to train offline retailers to go on digital on platforms like Instagram and WhatsApp. Right answer is Facebook. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has increased the import duty on green energy equipment by how much? Right answer is 20%. And the aim is to drive local manufacturing of the equipment and lowering the import of low quality Chinese equipment. Who has launched online program of IGNU through Facebook live session MA Hindi? Right answer is Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank. How much amount has been announced by the Reserve Bank of India? as a line of credit to Exim Bank. Right answer is 15,000 crore. Now 20,050 crores has been approved by the government towards a scheme for the development of the fisheries sector in the next five years. And recently the government has notified amendments to general financial rules to ensure that goods and services valued less than 200 crore are being procured from domestic firms. Now rupees 500 crore has been allotted by the government towards beekeeping under the Atma Nirvar Abhiyan and rupees 10,000 crore has been approved by the union cabinet towards scheme for formalization of micro food processing enterprises for the unorganized sector. Which social media giant has appointed Kevin Mayer as the chief executive officer of his company. Right answer is TikTok. So TikTok has appointed Kevin Mayer as the chief executive officer of its company. Private equity firm KKR is set to invest dash amount in geo platforms for a 2.32% stake. Right answer is rupees 11,367 crores. And this will be the fifth investment in the Reliance Industries Limited business in rapid succession following those by Facebook, private equity funds, Silver Lake, Vista Equity Partners, and General Atlantic. Who has been appointed as chairman of NEVAD? Right answer is Govinda Rajalu. And Anamika Roy. Rastravar has been appointed as MD and CEO of IFCO Tokyo General Insurance. Sanjay Agarwal has been appointed as MD and CEO of AU Small Finance Bank. Whereas NADA suspends two Indian powerlifters, Savita Kumari and Ankit Shishodia, for violating anti doping rules. And remember, Sunil Shetty is the brand ambassador of NADA. Who has been appointed as Vice President and Chief Economist of World Bank Group? Right answer is Karman Renhardt. And Anshula Kant is the Chief Financial Officer and Managing Director of the World Bank Group. Gita Gopinath is the Chief Economist of International Monetary Fund. Rishi Sunak is the UK's New Finance Minister who has become the new CMD of Oriental Insurance Company? Right answer is SN Rajeshwari. So New India Assurance General Manager SN Rajeshwari has been selected as the Chairman and Managing Director of the Oriental Insurance Company by Bankers Board Bureau. Now 
UB Pravin Rao has been appointed as new chairman of NASCOM. Ajay Mahajan has been appointed as new managing director and CEO of Care Ratings. Deepak Mittal has been appointed as next ambassador of India to Qatar. Whereas Piyush Srivastava has been appointed as next ambassador of India to Bahrain. Which e-commerce company has signed MOU with Karnataka Mango Board to support mango farmers? Right answer is Flipkart. So India's leading web-based business commercial center Flipkart has signed a memorandum of understanding with Karnataka State Mango Department and Marketing Corporation to empower mango farmers to sell their produce online. Name the Indian Army officer who has won the United Nations Military Gender Advocate of the Year Award 2019. Right answer is Major Suman Gawani. So Major Suman Gawani, an Indian Army officer and woman peacekeeper who has served with the United Nations mission in South Sudan has been awarded with United Nations Military Gender Advocate of the Year Award 2019. Now, Shivangi became the first female Indian naval pilot. Nupur Kulshestra became first woman DIG of Indian Coast Guard. Shalija Dhami became country's first woman flight commander. Whereas Ponang Doming became Arunachal Pradesh first woman lieutenant colonel in Indian Army. Ketchup is a new application of which social networking platform right answer is facebook with the help of calling application catch up the user will be able to indicate the availability to talk and call other users and will enable other users to do the same and choose a common time for the call airtel payment bank has partnered with which payment card to create customized financial products for Indian farmers and SMEs. Right answer is MasterCard. So Airtel Payment Bank has collaborated with MasterCard to create customized financial products for Indian farmers and small and medium enterprises that is SMEs. These financial products particularly for those territories where there is less access to bank administration. Fresh, that is FRSH, a grooming and personal care brand launched by which Bollywood actor? Right answer is Salman Khan. So, Salman Khan has launched a grooming and personal care brand FRSH and the brand has been co-created by Shensial Beauty Care and Wellness Private Limited. Name the author who will release our latest book, the Ikabok online for free for children during lockdown right answer is jk rowling so the harry potter author jk rowling will release a latest book the ikabok online for free for the children during this lockdown period and recently ruskin bond's new book titled hop on my adventures on boats trains and planes was released on his 86th birthday which Indian Defense Force has developed Navarakshak breathable PPE kit? Right answer is Indian Navy. So Indian Navy has formed Navarakshak PPE kit with innovative breathable fabric material. This PPE kit provides comfort to healthcare workers working against COVID-19 pandemic wearing multi-layered overall PPE treating patients within the hot and humid condition for quite 12 hours. And this PPE kit is made by Surgeon Lieutenant Commander Arnav Ghosh from Naval Medical Specialist of Innovation Cell Institute of Naval Medicine in Mumbai. Now Indian Navy has recently launched Samudra Setu to bring back the Indians stranded outside. And Indian Navy also launched Operation Vanilla to help cyclone hit Madagascar and recently the Indian Army has named its battle against COVID-19 as Operation Namaste and this operation has been launched by the Indian Army to help 
the Indian government in dealing with the outbreak, which day has been observed as World Thyroid Day? Right answer is 25th May. So World Thyroid Day is observed globally on 25th May every year. The main purpose of the World Thyroid Day is to aware of the importance of thyroid and the prevention and treatment of thyroid diseases. And International Missing Children's Day is also observed globally on 25th May every year. And this day is observed for missing children who have found their way home. Remember those that are victims of crime and continue efforts to seek out those that are still missing. Mohit Vagel, who passed away recently at the age of 26, was a dash. So he was an actor which state has imposed a 50% special COVID fee on the MRP of liquor while allowing home delivery of alcohol. Right answer is Odisha. So Odisha has imposed a 50% special COVID fee on the MRP of liquor while allowing home delivery of alcohol. And in West Bengal, the price was increased by 30% while Rajasthan imposed an additional 5-15% to COVID tax on alcohol, which NBFC has partnered with Taj Sats to provide meals to frontline healthcare workers. Right answer is REC Limited. So REC Limited has partnered with Taj Sats, a joint venture of IHCL and Sats Limited to provide nutritious meals to frontline healthcare workers. Former Supreme Court Judge Justice A.K. Sikri inaugurated the Indian Dispute Resolution Center that is IDRC. Now question is where it was inaugurated? Right answer is New Delhi. Now the center provides a completely paperless dispute resolution environment. The center offers offline also as e-alternate dispute resolution that is ADR facility through its state-of-the-art e-arbitration, e-meditation and e-conciliation software portal. Name the former Inter Milan football coach who passed away recently. Right answer is Gigi Simoni. Now, Hana Kimura was a Japanese pro wrestler. Ashley Cooper was an Australian tennis star. Balbir Singh Dosanj was a former Indian hockey player. And R. Shanmugam was a former Indian footballer who all have passed away recently. Which state has inaugurated Shram Siddhi Abhiyan? To provide jobs to laborers. Right answer is Madhya Pradesh. And under this initiative, work will be given to every person in rural areas. Now, recently, Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar implemented Mukhya Mantri Vepari Shati Purti Bhima Yojana for small traders. And Chhattisgarh Chief Minister recently launched a financial scheme for the laborers of the state. Under this scheme, Mukhyamantri Nirman Shramik Mrittu Evam Divyang Sahayata Yojana on the death of a registered laborer at work, financial aid of rupees 1 lakh will be provided to the family members who is heading the high level committee of experts found by the government to recommend reforms in India's drug regulatory system. Right answer is Rajesh Bhushan. Now, Tapan Rai Committee deals with the review of regulatory guidelines and supervisory framework of core investment committees. Nandan Nilekani headed the high level committee to strengthen the safety and security of digital payments in the country, whereas UK Sina headed the expert committee to look into the various challenges being faced by MSMEs. Payments technology major Visa has partnered with which startup company for innovative payment solutions for SMEs? Right answer is Zagal. So in order to launch innovative payment solutions for small and medium enterprises and startups, a fintech startup Zagal has partnered with payments technology major Visa. 
Now both the companies will work together enhancing the productivity and efficiency of the SMEs and startups. India has hand over the war game center named India to Uganda People's Defense Forces that is UPDF. Now what is the cost of the build? Right answer is 1 billion Ugandan shillings and it was inaugurated by General Yoveri Kaguta Museveni, the President of Republic of Uganda. The World Health Organization has signed an agreement with which international sports organization to improve health through sports. Right answer is International Olympic Committee. And the International Olympic Committee is headquartered in Lausanne, Switzerland and the president is Mr. Thomas Batch. Now this partnership is to work with host countries to ensure health of athletes, supporters and workers at the games. The two organizations will also work to ensure that the games leave a healthy legacy in host countries through enhanced awareness of the value of sport. How much amount penalty has been imposed on the National Highways Authority of India that is NHAI by SEBI for delay in disclosing half yearly financial results between FY16 and FY19? Right answer is 7 lakhs. The penalty has been imposed on the basis of SEBI's listing obligation and disclosure norms according to which half yearly results have to be filled within 45 days from the end of the half year. Name the artificial intelligence based chatbot which has been developed by Bengaluru based startup Core Over Private Limited and launched by National Payment Corporation of India that is NPCI. Right answer is PAI. Now this chatbot has been rolled out to create awareness around NPCI's products such as Fastag, Rupay, UPI, other enabled payment system on a real time basis hence improving the digital financial inclusion in India. And recently WhatsApp launched a chatbot called IFCN chatbot to curb the spread of misinformation about COVID-19. Gujarat government has launched Atma Nirbhar Gujarat Sahai Yojana to provide loans to small businessmen. Now, who is the governor of Gujarat? Right answer is Acharya Devrat. And this scheme aims to provide an interest subsidy, a moratorium as well as a collateral free loan of up to rupees 1 lakh to small traders street vendors and small professionals in the state. Gujarat government targets to lend around rupees 5000 crore via loan for a period of 3 years. Now this loan will be available at 2% annual interest whereas the remaining 6% interest would be borne by the state government. Now recently Dipankar Datta appointed as Chief Justice of Bombay High Court, Vishwanath Samadhar has been appointed as Chief Justice of Meghalaya High Court whereas Muhammad Rafiq has been appointed as Chief Justice of Odisha High Court. How much loan agreement has been signed between Government of India, Government of West Bengal and the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank that is AIIB to improve irrigation services in West Bengal. Right answer is 145 million dollar. Now AIIB approved 335 million dollar for Bangalore Metro, 100 million dollar for solar and wind projects in India, 500 million dollar for Mumbai suburban rail infrastructure and World Bank has approved 300 million dollar for development of Kolkata. Which state government has launched Sneher Poros and Prochesta schemes? Right answer is West Bengal. So West Bengal has launched Sneher Poros and Prochesta schemes. Now the Sneher Poros aims to provide support for the migrant workers with rupees 1000 and Prochesta 
scheme launched to help the workers of the unorganized sector of west bengal to enable them to earn their living in the lockdown situation and recently karnataka government has launched the jan sevak scheme to deliver multiple government services at the doorstep of the public on a pilot basis name the iit which has developed interactive dashboard named mir aht covid 19 dashboard to help contain covid 19 community infection post lockdown right answer is iit gandhinagar so researchers at indian institute of technology gandhinagar have developed an interactive covid 19 dashboard named mir aht covid 19 dashboard to help administrators hospitals as well as public in planning optimized testing for the coronavirus and containing community infection in various post lockdown scenarios and recently iit gandhinagar has launched project isac to engage its students in creative projects to enhance their critical skills while they are confined to their rooms because of covid-19 which state has been warned against the cyclone amphan right answer is odisha so odisha has been recently warned against the cyclone amphan which day is observed as world telecommunication day with a the theme connect 2030 icts for the sustainable development goals right answer is 17 may now it is celebrated to highlight the use of communication and positive exchange as through technology and 17 may is also observed as world hypertension day to help raise awareness about high blood pressure and how it can be provided and managed and this year's theme was measure your blood pressure control it live longer Ministry of HRD has e-launched a series of how many books under the title Psycho Social Impact of Pandemic and Lockdown and How to Cope. Right answer is 7. So 7 series of books has been launched by Ministry of HRD. And this series was published by National Book Trust that is NBT. The titles of the books were launched following the study of various aspects based on the psycho social impact on seven different segments of the society through personal interviews case studies and community perceptions now the titles of the series are vulnerable in autumn the future of social distancing the ordeal of being corona warriors new frontiers at home caught in corona conflict making sense of it all and alienation and resilience name the author of the book wuhan diary dispatches from a quarantine city right answer is fang fang which state has decided to provide video calling facilities and tv sets to the covid 19 patients right answer is madhya pradesh So in Madhya Pradesh the authorities have decided to provide video calling facilities and TV sets to covid-19 patients in hospitals Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has launched which initiative to promote online education across the country right answer is PM e vidya So PM e vidya has been launched by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and this initiative aims to encourage technology driven education with equity post covid as a part of atma nirbhar apna bharat program and recently prime minister shri narendra modi launched a unique mentorship program nurture the future under which civil service trainees will compulsorily have to adopt youngsters as trained mentors and guide them throughout their educational and professional lives Now Nista is a capability building program for improving quality of school education through integrated teacher training which aims to build competencies 
among all the teachers and school principals at the elementary stage and it is the world's largest teachers training program of its kind who has represented india as the 73rd world health assembly held through video conference right answer is dr harshvardhan how much amount did india provide to united nations relief and works agency for palestinian refugees welfare right answer is 2 million dollar and remember india also provided 1 million dollar to un special purpose trust fund 50 million dollar to sri lanka for fighting terrorism who has been awarded the alexander dalrymple award 2019 right answer is vice admiral vinay badwar so india's chief hydrographer of indian naval hydrographic vice admiral vinay badwar has been awarded the alexander dalrymple award 2019 this award is given to him for his outstanding contribution to indian hydrography and across the broader indian ocean region the award was presented by the uk ministry of defense the recipients of the award are selected by the chief committee of the uk hydrographic office for his or her efforts in raising the standards of hydrography cartography and navigation around the world publisher speaking tiger has released whose book titled hop on my adventures on boats trains and planes right answer is ruskin bond who has dedicated the cobas 6800 covid 19 testing machine to the nation right answer is dr harshvardhan so union health and family welfare minister dr harshvardhan dedicated the cobas 6800 covid 19 testing machine to the nation the cobas 6800 is the first such testing machine procured by the government for testing covid 19 cases and has been installed at the national center for disease control in delhi it is a fully automated high-end machine for performing rt pcr test for covid 19. the machine will provide high volume and quality testing and will be able to test around 1200 samples in 24 hours and recently Dr. Harshvardhan addressed a digital conference restart to celebrate the National Technology Day and restart stands for reboot the economy through science, technology and research translations and the conference was jointly organized by Technology Department Board and Confederation of Indian Industry. And recently, Dr. Harshvardhan also represented India for 32nd Commonwealth Health Ministers Meet held via video conference and the theme of the meeting was delivering a coordinated Commonwealth COVID-19 response. An Union Minister of Development of Northeastern Region, Dr. Jitendra Singh, recently addressed the Indo-Bangladesh virtual conference organized by Asocham. Who has represented the second extraordinary G20 virtual trade and investment ministerial meeting chaired by the Saudi Arabian Minister of Commerce Majid Al Kasabi? Right answer is Piyush Goel. And Piyush Goel is Union Minister of Railways commerce and industries now saudi arabia is the host for the 15th annual g20 leader summit and india will host 2022 g20 summit and recently finance minister nirmala sitaraman allocated rupees 100 crores for the g20 presidency meet in india in the union budget 2020 which country has become the first nation in Europe to declare itself coronavirus free? Right answer is Slovenia. Which state government has launched Martyr Shristi scheme to utilize 50,000 acres of barren land in six districts? Right answer is West Bengal. 
and this scheme will help to generate income activities in horticulture and pisciculture involving the locals and this scheme will benefit around 2.5 lakh people in rural bengal and recently west bengal government launched the exit app for people from other states who are stuck in west bengal view the national lockdown and desires to return to their native places and uttar pradesh government recently becomes the first state with a software based in house facility of virtual courts and recently telangana's telia rumal jharkhand's sohrai khobar painting and manipur's black rice has received geographical indication tag which organization has partnered with jharkhand to provide online education to children right answer is doordarshan so doordarshan has partnered with jharkhand to provide online education to children which bank has approved 1 billion dollar social protection package for india right answer is world bank so the world bank has approved 1 billion dollar social protection package for india and this package will be linked to the programs launched by government of india hence it will support india's efforts at providing social assistance to the poor and vulnerable households who severely impacted by covid-19 pandemic now this fund will be provided in two tranches first tranche will be of 750 million dollar for fiscal year 2020 and second tranche will be of 250 million dollar and will be made available for fiscal year 2021 and recently the us cdc committed 3.6 million dollar as emergency assistance program loan to support india for covid-19 and the asian infrastructure investment bank recently approved 500 million dollar loan to support india's covid-19 operations who has represented india in the virtual conference of shanghai cooperation organization foreign ministers meeting on covid-19 right answer is s jay shankar who has commissioned icgs sachet and two interceptor boats in goa via video conference right answer is rajnath singh and remember rajnath singh is the union defense minister and his constituency is lucknow uttar pradesh now k natarajan is the director general of indian coast guard nupur kulshreshth is the first woman to be promoted as dig of indian coast guard general bipin rawat is the first chief of defense staff and admiral karamveer singh is the 24th chief of naval staff which bank has tied up with moneygram payment system for direct to bank account credit option for customers in india right answer is federal bank now this tie up will help the non resident indians with access to modern low cost fast easy and reliable ways for transferring money to india and federal bank has a 15% share of the country's remittance market and expects that the tie up with moneygram will give the business a further boost and remember the federal bank headquarters is in alua kerala and sham srinivasan is the md and ceo of federal bank national restaurants association of india that is nrai has partnered with fintech startup to build tech platform now where is the headquarter of nrai right answer is delhi who has become the new md of jammu and kashmir bank right answer is zubair iqbal and zubair iqbal is previous senior vice president of hdfc bank and he has been appointed for a period of 3 years 
now rajneesh kumar is the chairman of state bank of india and he has also been appointed as new chairman of indian banks association now ss mallikarjun rao has been appointed as md and ceo of punjab national bank sanjeev chadda has been appointed as md and ceo of bank of baroda whereas n kamakodi has been reappointed as md and ceo of city union bank name the iran's representative at opec who recently passed away right answer is hossein kazempour now shobushi was a professional sumo wrestler sai gundekar was an actor anisu zaman was a bangladesh national professor and betty wright was a grammy winning singer who all have passed away recently which state union treasury has launched the samagra shiksha program for the promotion of e learning right answer is jammu and kashmir now this program enables students to access online education through various technological interventions in the covid-19 pandemic which state to launch the rajiv gandhi kisan nyay yojana right answer is chatisgarh now this yojana will be launched on the 10th anniversary of former prime minister of india rajiv gandhi on 21st may it is aimed to stimulate the rural economy in chatisgarh amidst the slowdown caused by covid-19 under this scheme the chatisgarh government will provide rupees 5100 crores into the state's rural economy under whose chairmanship government has set up a committee relating to border infrastructure right answer is lieutenant general db shakatkar retired which day has been observed as world b day right answer is 20th may so world b day is observed globally on 20th may every year on this date 20th may the pioneer of beekeeping anton jansa was born in 1734 in slovenia the purpose of the b day is to acknowledge the role of bees and other pollinators for the ecosystems how much amount has been extended by nabard as special liquidity facility to cooperative banks and rrbs that is regional rural banks right answer is 20500 crores so the national bank for agricultural and rural bank extended rupees 20500 crore special liquidity facility to cooperative banks and regional rural banks now it has extended 15200 crores to cooperative banks and 5300 crores to regional rural banks how many singers together have sung the song titled jai tu jai tu bharatam saluting the spirit of atmanirbhar bharat right answer is 211 and the song has been written by renowned lyricist poet and writer prasun joshi and remember the bharatiya portion anthem was also written by prasun joshi and composed and sung by shankar mahadevan which state based company club first has developed india's first service robots sona 1.5 and sona 0.5 So Rajasthan's Jaipur based company Club First made robots to help the medical staffs for coronavirus. India's first service robots Sona 1.5 and 0.5 fully autonomous self navigator robots with multi floor access has been developed. Which country has launched 2 billion dollar help to World Health Organization assembly? Right answer is China. Which railway zone has developed rail bot to provide better health care to covid-19 patients right answer is south central railway zone so south central railway zone has developed a robotic device railbot to assist in the functions of hospital management to provide better health care to the covid patients railbot is getting used to supply medicines medical accessories and to serve food to the 
patients with none need for physical contact which state has launched hope portal to help unemployed youth right answer is uttarakhand and the portal hope stands for helping out people everywhere now the portal will be used to collect the data on the youths of the state who are staying in as well as the recently returned migrant youths and this portal will also help unemployed youths for job seeking and skill development the employers will get knowledge about the candidates like where they work and this database will be linked with the mukhyamantri swarojgar yojana when it is ready and recently uttar pradesh government launched pravasi rahat mitra app to connect migrants with schemes and jobs by this app the government will be able to know about the status of covid-19 screening bank account numbers educational qualifications and other details about migrant laborers put up in shelter homes and those who have reached their homes directly india has been ranked 74th on the global energy transition index released by which organization right answer is world economic forum and the headquarters of world economic forum is in geneva switzerland now the energy transition index is a fact based ranking intended to enable policy makers and businesses to plot the course for a successful energy transition and this index has been topped by sweden followed by switzerland and finland being second and third position new development bank that is ndb has approved 1 billion usd emergency assistance program loan to india now question is where is the headquarter of ndb right answer is shanghai china and this emergency assistance program loan aims to support the government of india in its attempt to curb the spread of covid-19 which state has joined hands with haryana to provide tap connections to every rural household by 2022 right answer is jammu and kashmir which country has developed i feel you bracelet for social distancing right answer is italy so the italian institute of technology has developed i feel you bracelet for social distancing this bracelet will help users respect social distancing rules the bracelet uses a radio signal only when another bracelet is approaching it does not use gps and therefore does not keep track of user locations and remember the capital of italy is rome and currency used is lira what amount did the us centers for disease control and prevention commit to assist india right answer is 3.6 million dollar now india announced 1 million dollar humanitarian assistance to help people of the bahamas affected by hurricane durian india also approved 50 million dollar to sri lanka to fight terrorism 30 million dollar to sierra leone for irrigation and 75 million dollar to cuba for solar parks who has become new director general of archaeological survey of india right answer is v vidyavati now tarun bajaj becomes new director on rbi central board adhir ranjan choudhury has been reappointed as chairperson of the parliament's public accounts committee dps negi has been appointed as director general to labor bureau in the ministry of labor and employment whereas manoj ahuja appointed as new chairman of cbsc
name the grammy award winner singer who recently passed away right answer is betty right and she was a singer songwriter and background vocalist now cherry stiller was an us comedian safik ansari was a tv actor manmeet singh was a former tt national champion and founding father of rock and roll little richards recently passed away which of the following organization has released its report world economic situation and prospects as of mid 2020 right answer is united nations so the united nations has released its report world economic situation and prospects as of mid 2020 and the growth rate of india has been projected to grow at 1.2% in fiscal year 2020 The United Nations also projected that the global economy will contract sharply by 3.2% in fiscal year 2020 due to COVID-19 pandemic. Which state union territory police has launched thermal corona combat headgear? Right answer is Delhi. So Delhi police has launched an equipment thermal corona combat headgear in collaboration with indian robotics solution and this equipment has been launched to protect the frontline corona warriors from covid-19 this headgear will enable the frontline workers to scan people without coming in close contact with them in public areas such as hospitals supermarkets and crowded areas it will enable police personnel to detect temperature of a large number of people from a distance of 10 to 15 meters and also will help in enforcing social distancing norms and delhi police also launched thermal corona combat drone which can help in seeing the real image of the personnel with the help of day vision camera fitted in it and recently delhi government launched assess corona app for door to door survey in covid-19 containment zones to speed up decision making by analyzing real time data now recently chatisgarh police has launched raksha sir app to monitor all migrant workers who returned to their native places in the wake of corona virus outbreak and are now home quarantine which day is observed as international day of light right answer is 16th may and this day is observed to celebrate the role of light plays in science culture and art sustainable development and also in the fields as diverse as medicines communications and energy and remember Armed Forces Day is observed by the United States on the 3rd Saturday in May and this year it's observed on 16th May and this day is celebrated to pay tribute to the men and women who served the United States Armed Forces Debesh Roy who passed away recently was a renowned dash right answer is author so Debesh Roy was a renowned author who passed away recently life insurance corporation of india has launched a modified pm vaya bandana yojana pension scheme what is the interest rate assured for financial year 2021 right answer is 7.4% name the indian american ibm scientist who won inventor of the year award for the year 2020 right answer is rajiv joshi now recently saurav loda received 2020 young career award in nano science and technology and three indian journalists dar yasin mukhtar khan and channi anand have been honored with the pulitzer prize 2020 in the field of feature photography who has inaugurated the 440 meter long tunnel 
as part of the char dham connectivity project in chamba right answer is nitin gadgari nasa's next generation space telescope wide field infrared survey telescope that is w first has been renamed after which astronomer right answer is nancy grace roman so nasa has renamed its next generation space telescope wide field infrared survey telescope which is set to launch in 2025 in honor of nancy grace roman and nancy grace roman is the us space agency's first chief astronomer who paved the way for space telescopes focused on the broader universe now christina koch and jessica mayer became first women to perform space work and recently christina koch made world record spending 328 days on the international space station surpassing the previous record by peggy whitson how much amount has been announced by government of india as rehabilitation package for cyclone amphan hit west bengal right answer is 1000 crore and 500 crore rehabilitation package has been announced for odisha who has been appointed as the next ambassador of india to niger right answer is pk nair and remember gopal bagle is the indian ambassador to sri lanka sanjay kumar panda is the indian ambassador to turkey vinay mohan kotra is the indian ambassador to nepal whereas taranjit singh sandhu is the indian ambassador to the united states who has been appointed as world bank's practice manager for climate change and disaster risk management for south asia right answer is abhas jha so indian economist abhas jha has been appointed as world bank's practice manager for climate change and disaster risk management for south asia and rekha menon has recently appointed as vice chairman of nascom justice rajnesh oswal has been appointed as first judge of common jammu and kashmir and ladakh high court david lee has been appointed as chief executive officer of huawei telecommunication india whereas d lakshmi narayan has been appointed as managing director of sundaram home finance which banks proposal to continue with its 30% holding in india first life insurance has been approved by irdi right answer is union bank of india so insurance regulatory and development authority of india has allowed union bank of india's proposal to continue with its 30% holding in india first life insurance with a condition that the lender will hold no control in the management of the insurer now axis bank has recently launched a new scheme express fd where the interest rate will be same which is applicable to regular fd accounts and state bank of india has launched debit card emi and pos loans for consumer durables and sbi also becomes the first bank to have office in australia's victoria and recently indian overseas bank has been nominated for collection of donations for pm cares fund whereas kotak mahindra bank has introduced video kyc facility for customers opening savings account on kotak 811 the bank's digital banking platform and kotak mahindra bank is the first indian bank to offer video based zero contact onboarding service which state cabinet has granted industry status to sports right answer is mizoram so the mizoram cabinet has granted industry status to sports this step has been taken to invest more in sports in order to generate employment and increase value with this move the sports and its infrastructure will be eligible to avail the facility of subsidy 
loan and assistance from the private and government resources and remember the chief minister of mizoram is zoram thanga and governor is mr ps sridharan pillai and recently mizoram celebrated chapchakut festival whereas manipur celebrated shirui lili festival now manipur has started a new initiative food bank in view of covid 19 which provides immediate and within the sort of free food to the poor and needy who face scarcity of essential commodities due to the long state wide lockdown and recently manipur's khudol initiative has been listed as one of the top 10 global initiatives to fight against covid 19 tennis player ashley cooper passed away recently he hailed from which country right answer is australia who has been appointed as national president of fikki ladies organization that is flo right answer is jannavi fukon and she has taken over from the outgoing national president harjinder kaur talwar as the 37th national president of flo the woman being of the leading industry chamber of the country now recently arundhati bhattacharya has been appointed as ceo of Salesforce India Nupur Kulshestra becomes first woman DIG of Indian Coast Guard Priti Patel has been appointed as home minister in the British cabinet whereas Deepa Malik has been appointed as president of Paralympic Committee of India which state government has released first tranche of restart package right answer is Andhra Pradesh so Andhra Pradesh chief minister YS Jagan Mohan Reddy has released the first trench of restart package. The restart package aims to help the lockdown hit micro small and medium enterprises that is MSMEs to reopen and become functional. The first trench is of rupees 450 crore which will be used in clearing the pending industrial incentives that would benefit nearly 98000 units. and remember the second tranche will be rupees 454 crore which temple will be solarized by the ministry of new and renewable energy right answer is sun temple konar so the ministry of new and renewable energy launched a scheme to solarize the konar town and konar sun temple name the committee set up to look into the sustainable development of western ghats right answer is kasturi ranjan committee and recently government has accepted and implemented three important recommendations of committee of exports relating to border infrastructure under the chairmanship of lieutenant general db shakatkar these were related to speeding up road construction leading to socio economic development in the border areas which day has been observed as the international day to end obstetric fistula right answer is 23rd may so the united nations observes international day to end obstetric fistula on 23rd may every year the day is being observed to significantly raise awareness and intensify actions towards ending obstetric fistula as well as urging post surgery follow up and tracking of fistula patients now recently 16th may is observed as international day of light and 17th may has been observed as world telecommunication day with the theme connect 2030 icts for the sustainable development goals and 17th may was also observed as world hypertension day and this year's theme was measure your blood pressure control it live longer who has launched the biodiversity samrakshan internship program right answer is prakash javdekar now amit shah recently releases a book karma yodha granth on the life of prime minister and ramesh pokhrial nishank launched a web portal yukti which stands for young india combating covid with knowledge technology and innovation to monitor and record 
द एफोर्ट्स एंड इनिशियटिव ही ऑल्सो लॉन्च भारत पड़े ऑनलाइन कैंपेन फॉर क्लाउड सोर्सिंग ऑफ आइडियाज फॉर इम्प्रूविंग ऑनलाइन एंड रिसेंटली यूनियन मिनिस्टर नितिन गडकरी लॉन्च सोप्स मेड ऑफ काउडंग एंड बैम्बू वाटर बॉटल्स मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय खादी एंड विलेज इंडस्ट्रीज कमीशन एंड नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर रिसेंटली लॉन्च ट्रांसपोर्ट एग्रीगेटर मोबाइल ऐप किसान रथ विच विल ब्रिंग टूगेदर फाइव लैक ट्रक्स एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ट्रैक्टर्स ऑन मोबाइल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग फॉर्म प्रोड्यूस टू मार्केट फ्रॉम मंडीज विच स्टेट विल लॉन्च द एवरीबडी विल गेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्कीम राइट आंसर इज मध्य प्रदेश सो मध्य प्रदेश स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इज सेट टू लॉन्च एवरीबडी विल गेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्कीम and this scheme aims to provide employment to migrant laborers and those laborers who have gone out of the state in search of employment who has released cbsc handbooks on cyber security right answer is ramesh pokhrial nishank so union hrd minister ramesh pokhrial nishank has released three handbooks named cyber safety a handbook for students in pursuit of excellence and 21st century skills which initiative of india has been listed as one of the top 10 global initiatives to fight against covid-19 right answer is khudol initiative and this initiative has been launched in manipur Now Khudol is an initiative of a NGO called Ya All and under this initiative the NGO provides food hygiene and health of LGBT community that is lesbian gay bisexual transgender community daily wage workers and people with aids and recently Madhya Pradesh state government launched Charan Paduka initiative for migrant laborers and under this campaign the migrant laborers who are heading back to their na- native land will be provided shoes and slippers to reduce their pain and kerala government launched break the chain campaign to maintain social distancing to fight covid-19 now pm e vidya has been launched by finance minister nirmala sitaraman and this initiative aims to encourage technology driven education with equity post covid as a part of atmanirbhar bharat program and uttarakhand has launched hope portal now hope stands for helping out people everywhere now the hope portal will be used to collect the data on the youths of the state who are staying in as well as the recently returned migrant youths and will help unemployed youths for job seeking and skill development which day has been observed as world turtle day 2020 right answer is 23rd may and this day is observed to celebrate this remarkable reptiles and to raise awareness about the american tortoise rescue a non profit organization whose mission is to protect turtles and tortoises all around the world and recently 22nd may has been celebrated as international day for biological diversity by the united nations and every year this day is celebrated to raise awareness about the issue of significant reduction in biological diversity due to certain human activities and this year's theme was our solutions are in nature so here we will end today's session If you like the session then please 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 like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time you can also join the telegram group of study dogma and follow us on instagram pages for regular updates link given in the description column thank you very much